Okay, right here you see a 1969 Warner & Swasey Hupto H550 excavator. Now this machine was a product from the American Warner & Swasey Company, which was a large manufacturer of machine parts and tools. And at one time, Warner & Swasey manufactured their own excavator line. And the model Hupto H550, which you see right here, was one of the excavators that they built. Now there weren't a lot of Warner & Swasey excavators built to begin with. They weren't manufactured for a long time. In fact, the model H550 was only built till 1974 and then it was discontinued. So it is a very rare machine to find and I'll take you and show you around a little bit on it. Now right here you see your two cylinders in the front to raise and lower your excavator boom. You'll notice that the crawler pads are very unique in their design on the H550. And you'll also notice the way at the ends the crawler pads start to slope downward like you see there. That was very common with the design of a lot of these older excavators. Now even though the excavator, as you can see, does not sit very high off the ground, the pads did spread the weight of the machine, which kept it very stable when it would be digging. Now right inside here is your hydraulic system for the H550. This right here is your hydraulic fluid tank. And right here is where your valves connect, basically to allow the fluid to flow through the hoses. And you can see your valves right there where they would work in and out to relieve the pressure. This right here is your pressure relief system for the hydraulic system on the excavator. And right here you can see your operator's cab. You can see your bucket style seat and you'll notice all the controls for the H550 are out in front of the machine. Instead of like modern excavators would have the joysticks alongside the operator, all the controls on the Warner and Swasey excavators were out in front. Now this was an older design it's kind of what you would see on an electric small drag line or a, a stick front shovel like a Besiris 22B where the hand levers to work the machine are out in front. The same style was followed with the Warner and Swasey H550. Right here you can see your excavator boom and you can clearly see where it still says Warner and Swasey. And right here you can see your main connection point for the boom where we're connected to the body of the machine. And right here, another unique feature is where the cylinders would connect. You can see they would connect on the underneath side of the boom and said like most excavators would have it on the sides of the boom. So that was a pretty unique design. And right on the front of the excavator you can see where it says H550. Now this vent that you see right here was to allow air circulation in throughout the whole machine when it would be working, as the purpose of all the other vents that you see on it. Here you can see another one of your cylinders laying on the ground here. Now inside these two vents is where your fuel tank is for the excavator, which you can see right here. So the operator would have to open these two vents up, and that's where he'd be able to fuel the excavator with diesel fuel. Now if we go around the back, Right back here on the counterweight, you can see where it says Warner and Swasey, and also you'll see on the bottom where it says Hopto. Now Hopto is the abbreviation for the hydraulic system on this excavator. Hopto stands for Hydraulically Operated Power Takeoff, which was the system that was installed on the Warner and Swasey excavators. And this is your whole counterweight, this section right back here. Now right in the back there you can see your hydraulic fluid tank right there. You can see all the hoses coming from it. Those two large hoses that you see coming there, those are what took your main hydraulic power, your fluid, and took it out front to power the hydraulics on the excavator boom. Now right here is normally where the engine would have been installed, but as you can see that's been torn out and sold for parts. You can see the radiator right here, which faced off to the left side of the excavator. The engine that would have been installed on an H550 was a Detroit 471, which produced around 200 horsepower for the excavator. And the overall working weight for an H550 was 22 tons. So as I said, it's not a very large excavator, but it's a very unique machine to see, and it's also very rare as there weren't a lot of these built. But there she is, Warner and Swasey Hopto H550.